what's up everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm paris and i make videos all about candle making and the starting and managing of my small candle business lady simone candle co today's video is real chill it's saturday and i had some candle restocking to do for my inventory so i just said well why not just record a make a candles make candles with me video and keep it real chill and casual have a little conversation you all can watch me make some candles so there's several fragrances that i actually have to make and get restocked that's my lavender um my white tea my sea salt and orchid and then I have two new fragrances that I actually need to go ahead and get made because I'll be releasing those in a few weeks. Plus, I have a little mini, mini, a little mini um, haul. I've got my candle science box. Ah, so we are going to go ahead and get that open and yeah, make some candles. go ahead and get started I also thought this would be a great opportunity to kind of introduce myself a little bit because I've gained a couple hundred subscribers fairly quickly these past week or two and I'm loving the conversations I've been having with you all the questions just the interactions. A few of you have actually been helping me and giving me some tips, which I love, um, because that just shows how this industry is really all about helping each other. But let's first get through what all we got from Candle Sands. So these are my two new fragrances. You can't see. Can't see it yet, can't see it yet. <laughs> oh, this is a sample, which is another fragrance that I wanna release in the next two months. So, can't see this one either. This is my new fragrance. Yes. So these are new. Can't see those. Can't see those. So next is my wax. Ugh. Is this my soy? I mean, my tart or my regular? Okay, this is my candle wax. So I just got a 10 pound bag, which is. Oh, don't y'all love getting packed of peanuts? I saved these for my shipping. This is my. Gosh. Big thing of. My tart wax i went on and bought some more of these this because i only had a little bit left just to go ahead and have that restocked so that's all i got super quick real mini haul mostly just to get some more candle wax so i can go ahead and start restocking and my new fragrances i'm so excited so i got everything out that i need to go ahead and get out and ready to go. So I got my trays here. This is what I use to set my candles. So that way I can like move them from room to room. So I got my alcohol here so I can sanitize my jars. I got the fragrance. We're gonna restock first my sea salt and um, my sea salt and work it actually actually no I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go ahead and do lavender we're gonna do lavender for this video I got my pot here and as you can see back here got my pot so let me go ahead and get some water on usually about an inch to an inch and a half of water I just kind of eyeball it at this point Go ahead and get that to boiling. 
and we can go to measuring out and then we'll do a little chat. Let me get all set up here. So here's my scale. So I use grams. I think I've told y'all that before. I'm a grams girl. It's just a lot easier. Got my pot here and I'm go ahead and put this on my scale and put that to zero. So I use nine ounce straight sided sided jars. And um, this is a nine ounce jar, but to the fill line, it's actually seven ounces. And seven ounces in grams is 198. However, since I am using a 10% fragrance load, I minus that percentage from this net weight to know how much um, wax I actually need. So the wax plus the amount of fragrance oil that I'm using should total 198 to get you to seven ounces or 198 grams. So it's actually 108, 180 grams that I need of wax and then 18, um grams of fragrance oil to then get it to 198. hope that makes sense um i'll probably be that'll probably be another video on some actual candle math i've answered a few questions which i actually don't mind at all because i know the math can be kind of tricky especially depending on what forms of measurement units you use so don't hesitate to ask so I got four jars here, so I actually need 180 times four, which will tell me how much wax I need to fill up my four jars. So that's 720 grams that I need for my four jars that I need for lavender. Just doing a little bit restocking of each fragrance. So kind of what you do when you're a new business owner kind of restock as you go. So I'm just pouring until I get to 720. A little over. So let's kind of level this out here and put it back. So we're at 741. Just put some of this back. Now we're at 692. exactly 720 that's dope <laughs> okay so now we're going to measure out 18 grams of fragrance oil so i got my lavender here and let me get my cups so we need 18 times four so i just grabbed two dixie cups i usually use these dixie cups that's 72 grams of fragrance oil. So I'm going to put this back to zero. Measure out 72. All right, just measure out 50. out now we can start sanitizing our jars and chit chat for a bit so just to kind of reintroduce myself because like I said I had I've gained um, a couple hundred subscribers here in the last like two two weeks so um, just kind of wanted to let everybody know what's going on and who I am so my name is Harris I'm 30 I have a two-year-old son, married for a little over four years, and I work for the state of Ohio. I'm born and raised in Ohio, and I just launched my candle business May 17th. So, two years ago after having my son, um, you know, if you're a mom, you know, we go through what they call postpartum, which I did. However, mine kind of spiraled, I should say kind of, it did, into something a little bit more serious called postpartum anxiety. 
and it's where your normal case of fear and worry kind of heightens to a level that is almost to the point where you can't really function overall as a mom as a wife anything that you are makes it extra difficult to just kind of function and so i started to um make candles as a hobby as a recommendation from my doctor to just find something that relaxes you by the way i'm getting my wicks out and ready to go so four wicks um, just to kind of relax and find a way to have some me time and get back to you and so that's what i did and candles is what did it i bought my first candle kit made my first six tens and was completely sold i already was a candle lover anyway but never made them and um started making them again as a hobby and was completely in love with it so i started doing them as a hobby right now i have all my jars lined up you know my husband back there <laughs> um now i'm about to get my wicks in here and just fell completely fell in love with the process it's something about the process of making candles that completely relaxes me and puts me in a zone that I just love. So that's how I came, here are my lip stickers, that's how I came to really fall in love with candle making. Um, right now I'm about to put these little tabs on the bottom of my jar. I use these little, I don't know if you can see, they're round little stickers. Got them from Walmart. I use this to notate what fragrance I'm using at the moment when I'm making multiple fragrances um, and they're all drying together and I'm fixing different scents with the, wheat, the heat gun and all of that stuff. It makes it easier to know what fragrance I'm working with. Um, and I just put an L for lavender at the bottom. This makes it a lot easier. So if only a few lavenders need fixed and a few sea salt and orchids need fixed, I'll put the others up, go ahead and finish those and then fix the two fragrances I need to fix. And it just makes it easier to know what fragrance is what when they're finally finalized. So that's just my little thing that I do. Definitely don't have to do it, but it makes it easier if you're making multiple scents at a time like me. So, let me go ahead and stick my thermometer in. So yeah, that's how I got into candle making. Candle making legit healed my process of getting through my postpartum anxiety. It took my mind off of the fear and worry of my son. Um, if you're a mom, you, you understand what that fear and worry is, but it, mine was to a completely different level and I could not function in my day-to-day -day normal task at work anything i was i was going through it guys um postpartum in general sometimes can be a little minimalized and it's not it's something serious and it's something that your family and your support system needs to be involved with because it's it's it can be detrimental it can if it's not taken care of or or attended to seriously so candles really really helped me get through right now i'm just putting on my wick stickers put my wicks to the bottom of the jars while my wax is melting so so then um so two years ago it was really just a hobby um wasn't taking it serious at all i was really just making them for my house and for my family and it turned into this it, it did it spiraled into a full business and i really just started thinking about making it a business just last year and so i just dove in and started doing a bunch of research on everything and started saving a little bit of money as i could so that way i can have some type of startup funds 
and here I am today, guys, talking to y'all. So, as a business owner, what are you all learning so far with owning a business? Um, I know for me, right now, my biggest thing is just balancing being a mom, a wife, taking care of the home, and I still work a nine to five. Like I said, I work for the state of Ohio. And so, um, have a pretty demanding day job. I'm also the assistant treasurer at my church. And right now, even though our church is closed, I still go in about twice a week for a few hours. Um, so for me, it's really just finding that balance and um, marketing, get, finding a way to get people to know who I am and um, fall in love with the brand and the message and my mission. Everybody, what I am learning as a new business owner is not everybody is going to understand your mission, your message, your brand, right? But there's always going to be a, hand, a group, that group of people that do get it. Um, and so I would say at this point, I'm just learning to appreciate every single milestone, every single like, every single subscriber, every single um, purchase that people get. What I really love is seeing orders from people I have no idea who they are. There's one thing to get orders from like your family and your friends, cause you know they got your back. But when you see orders from like people you don't recognize, it's like, yes, the word is getting out. That's how I look at it. <laughs> so I'm just learning to be appreciative at this point in stage as a business owner. Here are my clothes pins. I have a few wick bars in here too. I love using clothes pins though to level out my wicks though. Okay, so this is where I'm at. So I got my jars wicked, clean, sanitized. They are laid out. And then I got my um, clothes pins here as well. I'm actually also about to preheat my oven. Wax is almost ready, guys. So I put, I preheat my oven to a super low temperature. Um, quick tip. I don't know if you've ever experienced wet spots when after pouring. Sometimes that is attributed to just an uneven cooling. And it could be several reasons. Pouring too fast, your jars are too cold. The environment in which you're pouring your jars can be too cold. Now, where I work, there's a vent right here and a vent right here. We do have the air on blast. It's hot, it's 95 degrees here. And so I preheat my jars a little bit um, prior to pouring so that way it cools slower to prevent those wet spots. Now, it does not happen all the time, but when I first discovered it happening, um, I found out that tip and it's worked wonders. Um, depending on where and what time of year you're pouring your candles. Now, I had just started seeing this because now we're in summertime, but winter and spring, I didn't have that problem, obviously. It's something that I just discovered. So that's a nice little tip. But back to our conversation while this is almost done. That's the main thing that I'm just learning to appreciate as a business owner. I have to remember that I'm two months in. And so all the other candle makers and business owners that I admire, I see their progress, I see the success that they're having, and you naturally like, oh, I can't wait to get there. But I'm reminded that it takes time. These are people that didn't had their business already for maybe a year, or they've had YouTube for a year already. So of course they have thousands of subscribers. Y'all, I just actually checked it today, today, remember today, Saturday, and I'm over 400, and I just hit 300, I think, last weekend so that's something that i'm grateful for i'm actually i think i'm actually going to start keeping track of how many subscribers i hit and when it's just an exciting process and i love seeing the growth and i just have to remember like this is my brand my mission this is my story 
I want to bring more awareness to postpartum anxiety and really just overall self-love. My brand and mission is to empower people to self-love because I lost touch of that after I had my son and it's not a healthy way to live. Loving yourself is only going to benefit those who love you. It sounds selfish, but you need time to love on yourself. And now I purposely have personal self-care Saturdays. My husband is such a great help with our son. Hi, boo-boo. <laughs> he just turned around when I said my son, like he just knew I was talking about him. And it's been great. He's, he's amazing. And I just, I want to get the word out there. Yes, boo-boo. Up. You want up? You want to see? You want to say hi to every? Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Where's your cartoons? Mm, right there. <laughs> no, not right there. Here. Here okay, you go. Okay, go get down. Go watch your cartoons. Mommy almost done. He's fine, but okay. okay. So, melting my matte wax to 185, and once it hit 185, I will take it off the heat for it to cool. I'm about to sit those in there for a little bit. And yes, I'm at 185. So we're gonna take this off. We're gonna take this off and sit it here to sit for a bit. So it gives my jars time and all of that stuff. So let me know in the comments below. This is supposed to be just like a chit chat, open my packages, make a few candles with me type video, real casual. Um, and just tell me your thoughts on how do you feel as a new business owner? What are your fears if you're thinking about starting a business? Let's just have some good conversation. Like I said, for me, just learning to appreciate the small wins. Every win, small or big, is going to matter to me. Um, and, and understand that everyone's not going to appreciate or understand what your business is about. Some people just aren't candle lovers you're going to run into a few of those um and everyone's not going to be on board with what you represent what your cause is what you're trying to bring awareness to like i said self-love is 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 worldwide empowerment is worldwide i'm just bringing it in a candle form and helping others understand how candles can be a benefit how fragrance in general can just benefit your your life in terms of me time self-care self-love and what it did for me as a healing process and how it can set a mood it's a mindset it's a lifestyle and how um, it can really bring joy if you let it and that's what candles do for me and again everyone has their own passion and um just don't knock nobody's stuff don't let's celebrate everybody whether you understand it or not you know, we all out here trying to trying to win. So let's just encourage and be supportive of everybody, which is also why I started this channel, not only to help spread candle knowledge and network with other candle makers, but just to help you all understand that I'm right in this game with you, y'all. I'm only two months into this ownership thing and it's hard. And I just want people to know that we right here together, we here. And we're going to get through this together. So, yeah. So, just let me know in the comments below. Let's have a little chit chat. Um, yeah. So, let's just keep making these candles, y'all. All right, guys. We're ready to pour. I brought you all down here so you all could kind of see me pour. So, my candle jars are still quite warm. So I'm just about to slowly pour. Yeah. All right, guys, got all my candles poured. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now I'm about to just smack these wicks on really quickly.
get these lined up correctly and straight. Ain't nothing worse than a crooked candle wig, okay? Off center. We have to make sure it's in the center of the jar. Lavender is done. Now I'm about to just clean out my, um, my pitcher. First, I just wipe it out with some paper towels just to get most of that wax out of there as much as I can. Then take a few more and clean the rest with alcohol. So I am all done. That is it guys. So I'm gonna just move my candles back here and they are gonna sit and dry and I'm just gonna get started on my next scent. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Again, I wanted this to be real casual and chill. It's Saturday. I knew I had candles to make and I just said, well, why not turn on the camera and just make it a make a can make candles with me type video. So. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I love talking to you all. You all have been amazing, very supportive. I love that we help each other out. So let's keep that going. Um, if you have any video ideas, let me know. You all have been doing great with that. I have a lot of videos down the pipe, ready to go for you all. So keep that going. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, peace. Bye.